So why don't we have baby carriers and strollers that grow? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I live in Sweden with my family. I'm a PhD student and I make educational and informational videos about studies and lifestyle in Sweden and other parts of Europe. Today, I'm going to talk about something that is dear to my heart. Waste of resources or let's say the prevention of waste of resources. My education has mainly been um, in computing for sustainable development. This has really changed my lifestyle and the way I look at things, and the, uh, my approach to things. As you can already see, I'm recording this video with my baby and he's trying to sleep anyway. So I have, uh, there's something that came to my attention that I want to quickly talk about. You know, when you, you have a baby, you think of buying a, a stroller, even before the baby arrives, you buy a stroller, you buy what not for the baby. But one particular thing I want to talk about that um, has been on my mind is that uh, I have I have a three in one baby um, career for for him. So there is one that is for when he's sleeping. I take him out, and that takes that is going to be lasting till he's able to sit. I'm going to be using that till he's able to sit down well, and then I change it to the next one that he'll be upright. And then I have another one. Uh, I have the car seat also, so the the three of, the three of them together comes in one package. And there's a the pusher. It is just one, so I can ch I can change each of them, any of them, as and when it's necessary. But yesterday I put him in the the first one, the one that he sleeps in when we are going out, and I realized that he's already. <laughs> His, his his height has already reached the capacity of the 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 career so i'm thinking of now i have to maybe give it out or sell it or throw it away and buy another one so why don't we have baby careers and strollers that grow why do we always think of why why don't these companies think about some kind of way of designing the the stroller so that after the child gets to a certain stage it can be converted and stretched in a way that the child can be using it at least up to five years but as it stands now after six months i i, I might not use that stroller again and if i don't get anyone who wants to use it or who wants to buy it then i have to throw it away there's no collection point where I can send this back to the company for them to use it. That is very worrying. When we talk about circular economy these days, the air is, is better than the linear economy. If you don't know linear economy and circular economy, it's just simply the linear economy is just the, how, the, how industries have been working for a long time up to uh, recently when we got, about, got to know about circular economy. We just, they just take resources, virgin materials, use it for their products and they sell it and the person who, who uses it after using it just throws it away and we are using so many materials than, uh, we, we, than, the, than the earth can contain, bringing so much waste. Very soon when we, are, when we run out of all our resources, we will not be able to be, make new products. And now we have to rethink about using um, resources. And that's what circular co economy comes. Circular economy, the, pr the principles of circular economy is that we have to redesign our product so that we do not have any waste after the product has been used. For instance, if the product is designed in such a way that it can be converted into something else after use, or it could be taken back to the company for them to re re-engineer it or reshape it or upgrade it 
so that we don't throw them away. That is basically circular economy. So the circular economy, we're trying to design out waste, no waste. It's not about recycling even, it's about preventing waste. So my alert system for resource uses, usage has been very high. Every time I'm using a product and then I finish using it, maybe the, co the uh -huh. container, I have to throw it out. I really think that, so where is this product going to? Where is this uh, container going to? Milk bottles, peanut butter bottles, uh -huh. and now my career also. <laughs> So there, there, is a, there was a product that I saw, I think last, last two years, it's, it was about a, a shoe that grows. It made for <laughs> developing countries or countries who are poor. They made this, this shoe for people who are poor so that when they buy the shoe for their child, the child can wear it for up to five years. Or three years or so I'll I'll put the I'll find the, the the link and put it in the video so they but they made it for poor people and I didn't understand why why are they thinking that it's poor people who need this product so if you are rich then you can keep buying but what about the resources that you are wasting as you see so if there could be a trailer like a trailer that grows, a trailer that can be converted. Even after the child has finished using it, it can be changed into <laughs> a career. He's laughing. <laughs> it can be changed into a shopping cart where you can just take to the shop and do your shopping. That could be better than just using. But as I was looking through the internet, I saw that there are some companies who are trying to, you know, fix these things. There's a company in Netherlands, one in US, and another one in Norway. I don't know if there's one in Sweden. If, if anybody knows a company like that in Sweden that is helping with baby baby product waste, please comment in the box below so I can reach them. What the other companies that I found they do is that they have this membership for parents. So when the child is a new, when, when you have a newborn coming, you sign up to that um, company. And then you are part of the um, kind of a community. So at every point, at every stage of the child, the items the child needs, they give you. And when you finish, when the child is, has outgrown those items, you send it back to the company. And then they give it to the next parent that needs it. And I think that's a good idea. And they also uh, have some companies who have... Um, become partners okay. so those, those companies can actually take the things that um, is out of use so I think that's a good idea and if I find one in Sweden I'll I'll really sign up for it because I really don't want to be part of this waste wasting okay. of resources without thinking about it um, my I think that my studies have really transformed my thinking and uh, my research so far has made me very cautious about waste all right thank you so much for stopping by this one was the quick one i hope so <laughs> all right subscribe to the channel and join this network and let's share and talk about some of these matters that are worrying okay goodbye Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want me to do more videos, subscribe. If you want to be notified for next videos, hit the notification bell. And adios. Hey door, BCS.